All right, so we're trying to write an expression for the area of the shaded region. So in this question, I want to know what the area of this is. So can we agree that the area of this is the area of the big square minus the area of the little square? Okay. That's that equals the area of the shaded region. Okay. So first off, I want to figure out what's the area of big of the big square. Well, remember that or rectangle, I should say. My apologies. Remember that the area of a rectangle is length times width. What is the length of this rectangle? Well, it's 3x plus 2x plus y is my length. What's my width? Well, it's 3x plus y. Can we multiply these? Well, first things first, maybe let's simplify what's inside here by combining these two like terms. So this is 5x plus y times 3x plus y. I'm going to use FOIL to multiply those. So first is 5x times 3x, that's 15x squared. Outer is 5x times y, that's 5xy. Inner is y times 3x, that's 3xy. And last is y times y, that's y squared. My area of the small rectangles, so that's this guy here, Again, that's length times width, but this time it's just this portion, so that's 2x plus y times this portion, so that's times y. I'm going to distribute my y in. Notice I'm actually going from right to left this time. It actually doesn't matter which direction you go. So I've got 2y times 2x equals 2xy plus I've got y times y, that's y squared. And remember, a shaded was my big area minus my little area. So that's 15x squared plus, oh, we can combine 5xy plus 3xy to be 8xy plus y squared. And I'm going to subtract my little area. So that's just 2xy plus y squared. Oh, almost got me there. I want to subtract this whole thing, right? So in actuality, that's negative 2y minus y squared. Now, are there any x squared terms that I can combine? No. So it's 15x squared. Can I combine these xy terms? Yes, I can. What's 8 minus 2? Well, that's 6xy. What about these y squared terms? I've got a positive y squared minus y squared. That just cancels out to zero. So the area of my shaded triangle is 15x squared plus 6xy. All right, let's give b a try. Well, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to try and figure out what the area of the large rectangle is. So area big, that's 3x plus 2 times 6x. And I want to figure out what the area of this small rectangle is. But this time they haven't given me the side lengths. But I do know that the whole length of the rectangle is 3x plus 2. And this bit is x plus 5. So this is 3x plus 2 minus x plus 5. Similarly, this bit here, if this whole bit is 6x and this is 2x, this is going to be 6x minus 2x. So let's solve that. 
3x plus 2 minus x minus 5. Well, 3x minus x is 2x plus 2 minus 5 is minus 3. And over here, we've got 6x minus 2x. That's just 4x. So my area little is 2x minus 3 times 4x. Okay, so let's actually solve those. Expand them. So 3x plus 2 my, times 6x. I'm going to distribute that 6x in. So I get 3x times 6x is 18x squared plus 2x times 6x is, or sorry, plus 2 times 6x is plus 12x. For my little area, I'm going to take this 4x and distribute it in. So I've got 2x times 4x is 8x squared. Negative 3 times 4x is negative 12x. All right. So now, area big minus area little is 18x squared plus 12x minus 8x squared minus 12x. Remember, I'm going to bring that negative 1 in, so this actually becomes 18x squared plus 12x, or sorry, plus, oh, I forgot to write next there. Oops. Yep. 18x squared plus 12x minus 8x squared plus 12x. All right. Now I'm going to combine like terms. 18x squared minus 8x squared is 10x squared. 12x plus 12x is plus 24x. So our area equals 10x squared plus 24x.